Well, hello, Knife fans. We are going to take a look at this knife I have purchased, which is probably familiar to many, many people. This is how it comes. You get your paperwork here for your warranty and a certificate from Boker. And this is the knife. Comes in a nice little padded case. You see that? It's padded. Good for protection. So we will move that out of the way and get on to the star of the show. This is the titanium. Flipper of the Boker Quaken. And you can see it is serial numbered there. 385. And you've got the nice little pocket clip. Which is not reversible, nor is... It placed up here so you got one place for it and that's pretty much it I do like how it sets down in the titanium I think that's very important a lot of knives I see the pocket clips and you think oh well you don't pay that much attention to it to you actually have to go using the knife and when they're riding high up there it can get in the way sometimes okay here's what we got Burnley IKBS VG10 steel on the blade and you see the Boker emblem there Boker Plus. And this is the Quaken. And I have got these are just the coolest knives. You see how the blades got this let me focus in on that. You see the divot in the blade there? That really... That's kind of neat. Uh, no thumb stud. And this was designed by a Mexican and a German and they got together and lock up on this is about actually 40 percent you see you got the steel liner all one solid piece there it's not just a little add-on that's a all the way through and you got the good backspacer here this It's a very cool knife. You see how the blade hides flat. It's just a really a sleek little knife. This is a knife that you could pack. It is Not a huge knife, but then again, it's measuring in at four and a half inches long. The flipper on this knife works smooth, but I really like these knives. They are just, nothing looks like a quaking. Slim, 
some people was complaining about this knife because it was so heavy. And it is fairly heavy for a knife that size. You hear that? And that's against double padded rubber. Oh, but look at that blade. Is that not a cool knife? So I got the one <clears throat> with the GT, with the G10 handles, I'm sorry, coming from Blade Age Q, because they sold out like BAM! Well, then they got another run, and they sold out like BAM! And I was lucky enough to get the very last one of them. <laughs> so, great knife. The Boker Quaking. Just a beautiful little knife. You could call it like a gentleman's folder. It's a sleek design. I like the titanium. The first ones made was just thumb stud openers, but you can see they've done away with the thumb stud, and it's a, a flipper. And the flipper works good. It's a smooth flipper. That's a good thing. Oops. But you got to slide it. So it's, it's a beautiful knife. Very well made. So Boker is uh, really did a good here. So VG10 steel. It's a good blade. You can see that divot in the blade there. You can see it there. Gives us a little accent on that. Great now. Okay, that does it <clears throat> for the quaking. You won't be disappointed. These knives, I think, are 129. Just a great knife. This is a knife you would want to show somebody for sure. Because it's just a sleek, nice design. Not huge, but yet you got a, a good size blade, which is three and a quarter inches. 3.25, I would guess. Really smooth. Very well made. Strong, sturdy, great looking knife. The Quaking. Pick you one up if you can, and you can still get these <clears throat> titanium ones, which is really, you know, I'm not a huge fan of G10. So that's why I got this one and the G10. So. See you on the next review, and hope you all enjoy that. And if you're going to purchase one, maybe this will help you. Just a great little flipper, sleek design, and definitely something somebody would notice and take notice to. Boker Quaking. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.